Hey Vikings, I'm Kensley. And I'm Annabelle. And, and welcome, welcome back to this week's broadcast. broadcast. Did you hear about the new video board that was put up? I did, and it makes the football game so much more entertaining. I agree. Let's go check it out. One exciting addition at Northwest High School is the new video board located on the football field. The new video board on the football field got put in a day before the first home football game, so a couple weeks ago. Um, we were able to quickly make some graphics and get some things up for the first game. The Digital Media 2 class has been instrumental in creating graphics to display during football games. That class decides what content is going to get created and they decide what games and different things we're going to put on there. Uh, Micah Hinkle and Dylan Kirk are the main ones that right now have been doing a lot of the graphics along with um, several other students that are doing some smaller projects with it. Um, but between using Premiere Pro, um, After Effects, we're able to create a lot of really cool things that go up onto the video board. Before the game, I usually go in and I'll see who's starting, get the starting lineup set up, and then just make sure all the graphics are on program. But during the game, I'm just watching. If somebody makes a big play or a touchdown, I'll put up the graphic for that person and if it's a touchdown, just the touchdown one. Right now, Micah has been the one that's in charge of the video board during games. He gets to decide what graphics go up, what things get pushed out. Um, he's constantly paying attention to see, you know, big plays, interceptions, first downs. Um, we're trying, really trying to, um, you know, change the experience for the fans watching the game. And, you know, just, it's another, it's another piece of the game that um, really adds to the event. I feel the, experience is a lot more exciting and fans have something to look at and to watch. During the game, as we're watching the game, we're also deciding, you know, what, um, we have a silhouette game, we have a baby game that we, you know, we're going to try to play one of those per quarter. Um, I'm also working with our Strive team, um, you know, we're hoping to get a few more maybe crowd shots or cheerleader shots, band shots, so that way we can throw some of those um, up onto the video board um, just to kind of get everyone involved from spectator to players. In addition to this board, the Big Gym is expecting its own video board before the winter seasons begin. Next steps, I'm just every week I'm making new graphics in class and school. I'm just going through, seeing what we needed the week before and just making them. So our next steps is every week we're constantly getting better with our stuff. When we're creating graphics, nothing is going to look the same from week one to week nine, 10, 11, um, whatever that might be. Um, in the winter, um, we're getting a new video board in the gym, so we're excited about um, creating content for basketball, um, the basketball games that are going to be in there, using it for wrestling, using it for graduation. Just excited to see all the things that we can create as we move forward. Come support the Vikings and check out this amazing new addition to our school. Wow, that adds so much more to the football games and the graphics are so cool. You're so right. Doesn't the sports marketing class make graphics for every sport? I think so. Let's go see what the class includes. There are many elective classes offered at Northwest. One of them is sports marketing. My name is Mr. Journey. I'm a business teacher here at Northwest. Uh, and specifically, I teach sports marketing. My name is Charlie Kreiser and I do sports marketing with Mr. Journey. Sports marketing is a class. Uh, we go around the school. We do a lot of different marketing things from posters to the bulletin boards around the school, remodeling doors, fixing different things. We make all the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter posts for all the different events. If you've noticed the posters around the school or the social media posts, chances are sports marketing students created them. Uh, we use Canva to make all of our projects. Um, some students have MacBooks, so they'll use things like Photoshop if they have access to that. Uh, but I, I leave it up pretty free range for students to use whatever they feel comfortable with. I use Photoshop and Premiere Pro sometimes, but most of the time it's Canva. Uh, an average week in class can look very different for each different person. So different groups do a lot of different things. Like I said, some will be doing uh, bulletin boards, some are working on graphics for online, and some are doing special things that teachers might ask us to do. In addition to social media posts and posters, the class makes bulletin boards around the school showing different activities. On Monday, we usually find a project each one of us want to do, and then we specifically focus on that project or two for the entire week. We have a what we call a content calendar, which is a big spreadsheet of all the events on what days and times they are, and we just pick whatever event whatever sport we like. My favorite part about the class is I love sports in general, so being able to work with uh, all of our sports programs to make them uh, noticed online is a lot of fun. 
Um, and the next thing is watching students grow from early class to, you know, it goes a full year. So seeing them grow and how they make graphics and, and the things that they do marketing wise is a lot of fun. My favorite part about the class is that it gets you out of your house because you're kind of forced to go to the games and get the scores and stuff and watch. So I like that. All of our material is posted on uh, our social media platforms. So Facebook, so, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and we use a, a base called Class Intercom uh, that does all that for us. So it's a phenomenal tool. We love having it. If you're interested in taking sports marketing, talk to Mr. Journey or your counselor to join the class. Wow, that class looked really fun. I wish I was that talented. Speaking of talent, have you heard about the eSports team? Yeah, I have. I heard they got new computers, so hopefully they can level up this season. The eSports team at Northwest is thriving with 30 students currently participating. My name is Matthew Rosenland, and I'm a senior, and I play Super Smash Brothers and Fortnite. So eSports is an activity where we play video games and we compete at a competitive level against a bunch of different schools across the state. So usually competitions um, will come in and we'll start warming up and then at 4.15 we hop in an online arena and we send us code to the other school. Like this this last week we played Platteview and then they would log in and we'd play a match. Last week we actually won. Let's go. And yeah, we usually play best of three. Whoever wins, wins. My name is Ashton Schwartz. I am a senior and I am on the varsity team for Overwatch and I'm also on the varsity team for Mario Kart during the spring. So this year we only have two seasons, whereas in prior years we had three. Fall and spring, uh, we play Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, Fortnite, Valorant, League of Legends, a whole bunch of different games. We are super excited about this year in Mrs. Cooper's room. We have our the brand new computers and um, they're super great. They are so much better than what we used to use and I'm really excited to see how they perform. We have varsity and junior varsity. For instance, in Super Smash Bros, we have 2v2s. So that's two people on varsity one and two people on varsity team two. And then everybody else who wants to compete is on a JV team. Um, that could be changing it throughout the entire season. That could be just setting with exactly what we had on day one. It really just depends. The team practices on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school to 6 o'clock. Let's support Dan. Uh, Mercy is reviving. There are six weeks of competitions against different schools. And then after those six weeks, we go into state playoffs. And that's usually four or five playoff games. And then the top eight from playoffs move on to the in-person state competition. This year, it's at Midland. We are really hoping to go to the state this year. We made it the last couple of years, and we're looking forward to it again. They will have a bracket that we go through, and we play against the other teams that made it to state. And obviously, whoever comes out on top is state champion. We wish the team the best of luck in preparing for state at Midland. Wow, they're having a super good season so far, don't you think? I actually wish I could have joined. Pause. Why are you talking so fast? Because this week's Viking in the Village is Speed Tours! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Vikings? I'm Connor. And I'm Cameron. And today we're doing Speed Tours. Let's go. Welcome to my house. <laughs> okay, this is my dining room. We only eat here during, like, special occasions, like holidays and birthdays. Here's my kitchen. I don't cook, but... My mom does. This is where we eat in my living room. And here's my uh, back deck. There's my mom. <laughs> and then my parents' bedroom. That's it. I don't know what goes on in there. I'm upstairs now. These are the broken picture frames from I don't know. This is Laria's room. We were going to go in here, but she just walked in the door, so we can't. This is my bathroom. We got a fun little shower curtain of. Oh, stop. I was supposed to take my medicine today, but I didn't. And then. Here's my room, and then my broken pole from pole vault. This is my favorite thing, is my plants. Aww. She's cute. And then my cow is over there, and that's it. And then that's my house. This is a crib, come on, come on in. We got the living room, there's a TV. We got the kitchen, I'm cracking on my food, and he's digging in right now, it's my dad. Uh, we got that table, we got a bathroom here. We got a laundry room in here. We got. We got, we got this room, that's a hangout spot. This is a dining room, we don't ever eat in here. And then, now we have the basement. And come out here. We got the basement, this is the living room area. We got a big TV right there, table. We got, we got the weightlifting area that never gets used. We got a trash can, dark floor. This is the back area, this is my dad's workshop, basically, except the regular shop. Ah, it's got all the tons of stuff. Back here, we got the workstation. We got this table, we got these chairs, all random stuff. 
drywall, fridge. Got some good stuff in there, freezer. Crystal of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Tools and stuff. Tools and sound system. Nothing. <laughs> Golf cart. Saws. Grill. Polaris. Got some clothes over here, mower, welder, anti-crosser, and bench, lift. Got another mower, some lighting for me to show. Upstairs. Get that. Upstairs, just a lot of stuff. Got clothes, some chainsaws, desk stove. That's about it. That was a speedy house tour. Speaking of speedy, this broadcast sped by. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Annabelle. I'm Kensley. Peace, Peace out.